home and away games. Of Ball comes out from underneath him, scoop back to Daniels, whose disposal often lets him down, and that's certainly a case in point, but he was oh, under well, pressure. Low. Yes. Finally picked up by Coughlin. Oh, that's through. Yes, it is a goal. Craig Kelly, the recipient. As the shortest way home. Oh, excellent mark to Morwood. So the ball's sticking today. It's not greasy. He did have a light shower here around about half past one. There goes again, second mark, almost as spectacular. I'm sure you'd agree, John Scott. Yes, well, Kane Taylor may be worrying more about Dacos than the ball. And again, getting in front, but not having the strength to retain his footing. Dacos kicks a goal and gets it. It's thrown in the air again, Monkhurst taken by right he gets his right foot to the ball and did it go the required distance yes Mullane takes a diving mark between centre and centre half forward now he plays on kicks it in the pocket Dacos has got five metres well now he's got Davenport on him and Davenport they were jostling the two of them three marks he's taken already but more importantly Peter it could be Dacos that's uh, kicked most of the Collingwood score after this kick Drop punt kick, looks pretty good. He's happy, Peter Dacos. St Kilda free kick to Grant. Oh, gee, not really the advantage. And Grant did well to get a boot to ball. Kicks up towards oh, Gavin strong. Brown again, who's been playing well, as I mentioned, in the first quarter. Good pair of hands. Grant. Uh, uh, Brown back to Morwood, and Morwood marks well within kicking distance. The angle's going to be tricky, and this win. So Shane Morwood, it won't need to be a long kick to score here. But with the wind, it's going to be pretty tricky. It's a low trajectory job. It's a goal. Good kick. Standing up a little bit at the last minute. Harding and Monkhurst. Back it comes to Bowie. Kicks across his body. Past Tony Shaw. Here's Lockett. Can he make amends? As Robbo mentioned, he's kicked two behind so far. McAdam, 25 metres out directly in front. Shoots and gets it. And as Morris kicks in for St Kilda. Brown in front. A juggle. Not paid. Russell. Morwood kicks from outside 50. Dacos in front, yes, and takes the mark. For his third, directly in front, Peter Dacos. He doesn't miss those, and he hasn't missed that one. Then it comes to Burke. Long hand pass again, Devonport. And the Saints will get out of trouble through Russell Morris. They've gone handball crazy. Rice. Back to Morris on, on right centre wing. Now kicks to half forward, Kelly and Lowe, the two number 23s, and it goes to number 24, Jamie Turner, who applies the tackle. Scooped on to Harvey, Harvey in the goal, he's chipped it short. Will it bounce through? It does! Full points! Will it go out of bounds? The Saints need it to. Wright is there for Collingwood. Back inside 50. Short pass, Dacos has got it again. He's doing well, Graham Wright. That's why he's by himself, that was Dean Rice. Dacos shoots for goal and puts it through. Four goals, goals to Peter Dacos. Pretty tight for... Quarter from a very windy and very cold VFL Park. Collingwood leading by only four points. They led by six points at the first change. It's 5-3 to 4-5. Harding goes at it and wins it down. Russell fumbles. Harding, a quick kick, slews off the side of the boot. So Collingwood can go forward again. Manson, he started on the bench today. Towering torpedo has been taking lessons from Peter Dacos. And there is Dacos, the man who has kicked four goals this afternoon. It just beats him out of bounds for a boundary throw in 10 metres from the goals. He's a hey, real don't, don't put Dacos and James Manson in the same category <laughs> when you talk about kicking ability, Peter. Well, they kicked differently, <laughs> but it was a good torpedo, wasn't it? <laughs> Stasevich, who's been well held today by Danny Frawley. Francis. Morwood, who's been valuable. He's kicked one goal, but... That one's not going to register a score. It's out of bounds on the full, and the free kick going St Kilda's way. This is a very, very important quarter for St Kilda. That breeze looks as though it may have lifted a little bit, and the players are going to be tired in the last term. So St Kilda have to hang on if they're to win this match. Ground's very heavy. Coglin gets the front position, and that's where you must be today. He marks in front of Gavin Brown. Kicked the first goal of the match. Frank Coglin coming in for kick number seven. To centre wing, Manson in front has the ball knocked away from him. Good effort then by, boundary throw in. by Tim Allen. Then he's done a couple of good things. Just got a fist there. That's a certain hand, uh, mark, chest mark to Manson, but he just got a fist there. Throw in. Stasovic and Harding. Harding looking for the front position. Finally gets it. Shaw off the ground. Coglin. Harding. 
Brown again. Shaw out to Francis. Fleet of foot. Kicks long up towards full forward. Oh, the mark fumbled down there by Rice. Day goes off the ground, gets goal number five. Give him an inch and he'll take five miles. Well, that's a little bit of good fortune, really, wasn't it, Peter? Yes. Dean Rice did nearly everything right then. Except push the ball over the line. But it always goes in favour of good players. There's something about them, isn't it? Look, he just couldn't it keep was his good body. body work actually by Dacos. He just kept the body against Rice, forced him to go wide. He just couldn't get the hand of the ball. And Rice shaking his head in bewilderment. And that's not what St Kilda wanted at the start of this third quarter. Manson thumps it to half forward. Lehman gathers it, can't get his kick away. Shane Morwood, hand pass goes back. Russell fumbles. Critical fumble. Morris is in there. Now a chance for Lehman. Russell gives it back to Morwood. Morwood off the left foot. The pass, not bad. Dacos marks in front of Rice. Too far out to score. Off to Morwood. Into an open goal goes Graham Wright. Collingwood get another one. Graham Wright gets his first goal, and the Magpie supporters are warming up to the task here. Collingwood 7-3, Leeds St Kilda 4-5. Well, it's just what they wanted. Morwood, good pass, and then follows up well, and it's good hit play also by Dacos. And Graham Wright coming in for his first goal. He's had an ankle operation earlier in the year. Had to get over that, and also that medial ligament operation. And very important breaks from the centre, Don, at the start of this third term by Collingwood. Here's another one. Manson thumps it to half forward. Devonport kicks it back. No St Kilda mark to Allen. Hand pass Burke. Pulled off the football. Goes wide to half forward. Low can't take it. Kick off the ground. Coglin. Getting back was Turner. And Turner will kick Collingwood temporarily out of trouble towards centre wing where McAdam has marked. No, play on. Handball to Burke's advantage. He overruns the football. Kick off the ground by Williams. And Collingwood have the ball on centre wing over the boundary line for throwing. Burke looking for a free kick for kicking in danger, maybe. But the central umpire having nothing of that. Boundary umpire will throw it in. James Manson, as he pumped up at the start of this third quarter. Francis and Russell have a raffle. The kick is smothered by Allen off Russell's boot. And it's over for another boundary throw in. Tim Allen, the youngster, playing his first game for St Kilda. Boundary throw in, left half forward for the Saints. 45 close 29, it's going to be Allen and Manson. Early in the third term, Manson wins it. Picked up by Peekett, and his kick likewise partly smothered. Low and Craig Kelly, they've had a great battle today. Picked up by Gaper. And a Krasiska back to Gavin Brown, who's been in scintillating touch today. Whatever he's done has been good. Jamie Turner... Shaw coming downfield pretty quickly. Gavin Brown again, long kick past Devonport. Dacos and Rice should be paid a free kick, Dacos. Rice finally with the hand pass. Harding, a mobile big man, doesn't kick the ball particularly well on that occasion. Craven scoops the ball up to Burke. Burke out in front, so it wasn't the back of Burke. On to McAdam. McAdam at right centre wing, long hand pass again. Jason Daniels, clear of right. To the 50 metre line, Kerrison at the back. Got a fingernail to it, and that was all. Out the back to Kelly from Gaper. Gaper might get it back again, he does. Coglin applies a tackle, the ball spills free. Kerrison slaps it in board, picked up by well Turner. Done, Good tackle, and again the ball's to be won. Now it's Daniels on the end of a hand pass, and he kicks down towards Coglin, but he's not going very far because Kerrison stands the mark. Very, very windy down there. That would probably be the be the most windy part of the ground not too much protection it's interesting watching Coglin as he goes back that left arm the bicep or the top of the bicep heavily bandaged could be a calcification in the bicep and they really do hurt that's where the fluid becomes hard and it hits against the bone in the muscle oh it's very, very sore so obviously that's why he's got that heavy protection Dr Don Scott speaking thank you Don you need everything you can get out there today. He kicks it goal. He's kicked it well. He gets his second, Frank Coglin, and the scoreboard showing Collingwood 7-3, St Kilda 5-5. Five, five. Five, five, they still trail the Magpies by 10 points. St Kilda try to force the ball clear. Allen leaves it for Burke. Burke's kicked the half forward. Low underneath it. Can't mark. 
Antrim has pushed off the football. In comes Tony Shaw. He's got it underneath. Allen. No, free kick to Shaw, maybe, for in the back. Ooh. And he will take it for the Magpies at centre-half back. Tony Shaw hasn't had much of the football. Short pass into the centre. Chris Siska gets away and kicks it long to within scoring distance for Collingwood. Rice comes out, does it well. Well done, Dean Rice. And from half back, he kicks it to centre wing. Oh, a good mark taken by Daniels. The redhead, short pass, kicks into the man of the mark. Absolutely unbelievable Free error. Kick. And kick. now the advantage will be with Collingwood. Russell, oh, caught brilliantly off. by Taylor. St Kilda will get a free kick a just through magnificent performance by Kane Taylor. Gee, that was a terrific tackle. Fantastic. He was on his way, Russell. Kane Taylor at right half back. He doesn't get too much distance with the kick low, seeing the ball dropping short, took front position and takes the football. Grubs the kick with the left foot. Gaifer will look for a hand pass, gets it to Turner. His kick likewise again smothered. And they tie it up just off the edge of the square where we will see another bounce. 18 minutes left in the third term. Allen, the Saints rookie, the last to get up. Again, the umpires are looking to throw it in the air. Knock on by Russell from the tap from Manson. Good tackle down there by Taylor again. Russell's kick across the body. Harding on the end of it. It's a lot of kicks midfield. He's going to play an important role, Harding, too, Peter. Loose man across half back. Collingwood kicking with the win. Not much of him. Danny Craven is there. Kick going towards the boundary line. And Craig Kelly, I think, has just grabbed it inside. Having a good deal today with Stewie Lowe. Seems to be bleeding a little bit from the mouth. Been in good form this year, Kelly. Harvey up in a big pack of players. He's kicked a couple of goals today. Daniels again. Kicks the ball across his body towards Kelly once more. A quick kick from that player to the edge of the square. Moore would slap the ball down to his own advantage. Oh. And That's gee, in that was... Yes. Glad to see those paid. Yeah, definitely in danger. So Kane Taylor from right half-back flank. In board to the centre. Big pack of players down there. Gavin Brown again. Comes in for kick number 12. Brown, Dacos and Rice. A great battle between those two. Moore would almost picks up the loose ball. Harding down in the pack. Nothing for it. Stasevich in the goal and gets a six-pointer. Craig Stasevich's first goal. Collingwood looking good, 8-3 to 5-5. Well, that's his first kick as well, Craig Stasevich. He's been held by Danny Frawley. And Frawley playing him really close. But here is an interesting battle between those two because both were infringing Dacos and, and Rice. But it's finally out to... Starcevic all alone. He's had three handballs, but that was his first kick and it was a goal. And I would think that Ken Sheldon will be a little worried because at the start of this third term, Collingwood have kicked uh, two or three fairly simple goals. Chris Siska, Turner, gets his foot to the ball and kicks it towards centre-half forward. Morwood comes in and takes a courageous mark in front of Grant. Looking to give the hand pass off. Uh, a long kick would be advantageous up towards full forward. Dacos can't mark, but he's got the football, gets the handball away. Chance for Russell. The kick into the pocket. Going back with it is Lehman, but it bounces just inside the boundary line. And we'll have a throw in in that left forward pocket for Collingwood. They're playing well up the ground, the Collingwood forwards, leaving Dacos plenty of room in which to lead. Three goals to one in this third term so far has given Collingwood the advantage of 16 points. Stasevich taken away by Harvey. Handball goes back to Devonport. Passes oh. risky. Oh, very risky. Mullane nearly dispossesses Frawley. And we'll have a ball up right in front of the Collingwood goal. They live dangerously nowadays, players. The way they short pass, it nearly came unstuck. Ball up. Handballs by Collingwood in this third term. Morris gets his kick away. 19 to 7. Very important. Taylor. Kicks St Kilda out of trouble. Out to the vacant wing. Will the ball sit for Graham Wright? Chris Siska and good tackle Daniels. Well done, Jason Daniels. Handball to the advantage of Lowe. Lowe with strength. Gets through. Turner. Well done, Jamie Turner. Handball goes back into the centre. Shaw. Short kick. Manson. What's he do? Gives it off to Wright. Wright kicks it to full forward. 
Dacos can't mark. He's got two against him. In comes Lehman. Lehman does pretty well Ooh. in the finish to hold it in. Harding there for St Kilda, and umpire Harris will ball it up. It's good that Harding's getting back now. He's got to be conscious of getting back and giving Rice some assistance on Dacos. 51 close 35, 14 and a half minutes left in the term. Stasovic taps down. Well, the hand pass is rather errant, intended for Devonport. Wasn't able to take it from Taylor, and it'll be thrown in in front of the small scoreboard. Been a good quarter so far for Collingwood after they led by only four points at the main change. It's going to be Stasovic and Harding. Out the back is Frawley. Harding pounces on it. Looping hand pass comes out past the 50 metre mark. Now Russell. Big Manson. Scoops it quickly to Russell. Dacos and Rice. A little nudge again. He got penalised for that earlier. Not this time. He used his hands earlier. That time he just held him out. Shoulder or elbow into the back and then went back on the ball. Watch this there. There. Just leads him under the ball and pushes off him. Dacos has kicked 5 1. He's now kicked 6 1. Kick from Trusiska to Dacos. Brown out of the centre. Is that a mark? Did it travel far enough? The umpire obviously says no. Sure. In fact, now looking for holding the ball and could have gone pretty close to getting it. Gee, it's interesting the measurements of how far a kick should go. Malone took a mark earlier on in the game. I think it was in the first quarter. It would have only gone about similar distance to that one, mm. and it was paid. Must have uh, flexible rules. Manson over the top. McAdam. In fact, almost picks up his own hand pass. Scott Russell across his body. Morris and Stasovic. It's left for Dean Rice, who gets flattened almost at the moment that he kicked the ball. A chance for Tony Shaw. Applies a pretty solid tackle on Kane Taylor. Daniels grab. Ball spills free. Craven applies the tackle. Lehman's kick wasn't going anywhere. And now Francis snares it and does well. Francis round onto the left foot. Kicks it to within scoring distance. Dacos has got it again. Well, it sounds like a record that's been stuck. But Peter Dacos is just giving us an absolute exhibition of brilliant football in extremely difficult conditions. The difference between the two teams is this magical person here, number 35 for Collingwood. He has these days occasionally, doesn't he? Oh, he's a champion. And look, he doesn't make any mistake. Seven goals, Peter. What a great effort by a forward when goals have been very difficult to come by. 7-1. Well, it was a good kick also by Francis. He kicked it long, and that's what you want, a break here. Predictable goes onto the left foot and then goes long, and that's what a forward wants. The ball to come down quickly, and it was an exceptional mark in front of uh, Rice, because Rice was putting a lot of pressure on Dacos. Interesting that he doesn't take too many steps before he kicks. Manson, Harding... Collingwood will get out again. The centre breaks have been vital in this third term. Grant at half back for St Kilda. Kicks it just a lot, little one and probably looking for touch. No one to kick it to. And it goes over on centre wing. Boundary throw and will take place. David Grant has had his hands full with Darren Mullane. And the St Kilda defence under pressure. The next 11 and a half minutes, very important Frawley. for the Saints. Frawley's gone back onto Dacos. 28 points the difference. Krasiska tracking the ball to the boundary line. Did he keep it in play? I don't think so. Well, that's an interesting move because if Frawley is susceptible, it is on a player who can lead and is quick. He's good on fellows like Stasovic. He had before tall fellows who use their strength. Manson jostling with Harding. There's a free kick and it's going to the advantage of St Kilda. He's done a good job again today, Harding. Collingwood have the height, he's got the mobility, and there's the height we're speaking of. Kerrison takes it from Manson. Kerrison's kicked to the centre wing position. Malade and Grant do battle. Harding again, needs support, goes long, kicks to half forward. And good mark taken by I'll Turner. Tell you what, he's played a terrific third quarter, Jamie Turner. Thought about the hand pass, now gets the order from the umpire to play on. Kick dropping a little bit short. Lehman takes the mark inside the centre square. Must play on quickly. Keeping the forward line open. Dacos will be there about. There he is. Gets away from Spud Frawley. Kicks a goal. Looks like number eight. The goal umpire says, yes, sir. 
He's kicked four goals this quarter, Peter Dacos. 11 3 to 5 5. Well, the record is 11 goals by a Collingwood player against St Kilda. Gordon Coventry he did it twice in 1927 31. Ron Todd in 1939 and Phil Carmen 75. The day he wore his white boots. Enormous to see Peter Dacos coming back. Four goals in the quarter to Peter Dacos, and I think he's had about four opponents as well, Robbo. Lehman off, Lehman off and tud them on for Collingwood. I think this is the important area. They've just continually broken away from the centre through James Manson. His determination, his persistence, his strength. They're just going straight at the ball. Didn't quite get that tap out. Daniels can't move it on. Now he gets his foot to the ball and kicks it wide of the pack. Russell goes to do the shepherding to give his fellow Rover the chance. Francis kicked towards centre-half forward. Collingwood Mark Brown playing inspired football now the Magpies. Mark number six to the champion from Collingwood in the 26th jumper. Gavin Brown hasn't quite gone back far enough from the man on the mark, but he gets good distance up to the 50 metre line. And a great mark taken by David Grant. Terrific stuff, David Grant. Has had a fairly quiet day, no one to kick it to. Now he gets his kick away, out to half back. Mark to the man in front, was it nearly to Morwood? No. Yes, it is. Yes. It's been paid. And Shane Morwood has the football. He's got uh, Paul Tuttenham has run beautifully off the bench. No mark taken. Chance for Mullane. Oh, he crashes his way through. Tuttenham underneath it. And the umpire, no, he allows play to go on. It's forced over for a boundary throw-in in the right forward pocket for the Magpies. With eight and a half minutes left, the Magpies 11-3 lead St Kilda 5-5. A brilliant passage of play by Collingwood. Dacos, nearly in the back. No, kick off the ground by McAdam. Shepherding, not bad. Kick by Williams. No, out it's out of bounds. And fortunately for Collingwood, because Morris would have taken it away, he was back there at fullback. That's an important stat. Seven times out of the centre to Collingwood this term. The Saints just won. And Peter Dacos has been probably on the end of most of those. Stasevich and Harding, one by Harding, tries to find McAdam. McAdam picks up well, needs support. He's got it in Grant. Good tackle. Tuttenham has just come onto the ground. The umpire says a stalemate. And as you can no doubt here, fans not entirely agreeing with that decision. He was in a great spot, though, the umpire. Just right opposite the tackle, about five or six metres away. Harding and Stasevic again. Morris, the knock-on. Mullane is on the end of it. And kicks oh. just about out of bounds on the full. The boundary umpire's given him the benefit of the doubt. A real line ball, that one, literally. Well, the boundary umpire was looking at the goal umpire for assistance. It looks as like we won't get a draw this time. After the thriller at Morabit in round four, Stasevich taps the ball away, then gets it back again, heaves it out to Francis, who has to kick hurriedly and try to hook it back. And a good mark taken by Harvey. He was nearly off. Tuttenham made sure he didn't go. Onto Frawley, the latest opponent on Dacos. My count is four opponents this afternoon. And he's already kicked eight goals, so he's had the best of most of them. Kicks to set a wing. Turner. Played terrific, Jamie Turner, in this quarter. On to right. Wright's kick looking for Tuttenham. That might be out of bounds, is it? Or has Tuttenham been paid the mark? It's the latter option. Not a good kick by Paul Tuttenham. Harding. On to Morris. He kicks from a standing start at the half-back line. And James Manson. And there he is again, Jamie Turner. Doing whatever tidying up work is necessary. Morwood's had a particularly good game. 18 possessions so far. That was nearly number 19. He finally slaps the ball out. Two St Kilda players there, though. Tuttenham beats both of them. Gets it back to Stasevic. This could be another one. Francis on to Gavin Brown. 20 metres out directly in front. Brown kicks a goal, and maybe he's missed. He has. So that was a bad miss there because he was directly in front. There was nobody around. A costly one. 35 points the difference, though. Just over six minutes left in the third quarter. A good one for Collingwood. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm with uh, Don, actually. He should have... Uh, that was going to be a nail in the coffin, wasn't it, by Gavin Brown? I think he probably lost a little bit of concentration, maybe, because it was a trifle easy. Kick in by Morris, comes to this near side. Williams nearly takes the mark. 
recovering well was Pekin and the ball is taken over for a boundary throw in Michael Gaither there as Sean Ralph Smith warms up on the boundary line for St Kilda Stasevich doing the ruck work Harding teammates in the uh, Western Australian team kick off the ground here by Tuttenham would be opportune Mullane still oh, good play Harvey close to the boundary line Williams Nathan Burke in there and the umpire will call for a ball up tremendous admiration for players in these conditions because it's very very tough Stasevich down to Francis played pretty well Tony Francis McAdam Ooh. crutch and Francis will take the free kick Don what was that for too high Francis from right half forward should put it to the front of the squares Manson is making position he's going in that direction marking contest no one can take it Saints are a chance to get clear Harding's kick back out towards half back Coughlin drops it he's caught McAdam oh, gives it away man. Russell gets his foot to the ball good effort by Manson in comes Allen chance for Shane Morwood shot for goal by Morwood oh. bounces through another goal to Collingwood Today's game is part of the Carlton and United Breweries 1991 AFL Premiership season. A marvellous third quarter by Collingwood setting up the win. They beat it seven goals, three. Restricted the Saints to just two straight goals. They've better players for the season. 